Ian's approach, landfall, and the damage left behind meant tolls were waived around Central Florida. Tomorrow at 6 in the morning, tolls will again be required. West Tuesday McDaniel looks at the impact of more than two weeks and no toll collections. Tolls suspended by the governor, those signs have been up since a little before Ian rolled through. Intended to ease in evacuations and recovery, but what was the Central Florida impact? Once the governor suspended the tolls after the storm, all of the electronic boards read toll 000. And a few drivers admitted to us that seeing all those zeros encouraged them to get in express lanes and have a less congested ride. Did you find that you took toll roads more often because oh, yes. they were free? Mm -hmm. Yes, and I got the sun past my car, but I still go. That from a driver who says she usually uses the level of congestion before deciding to pay tolls. With no tolls, more toll driving. Because it was suspended. You ain't got to pay for nothing. <laughs> so it's an easy way, quick way, easy way to go to. We reached out to both the DOT and the Central Florida Expressway Authority about the impact. The Expressway Authority says based on historical data, it didn't collect its $1.7 million a day. Over the 17 day suspension, that's roughly $30 million total. During the toll suspension, volume of traffic was up more than 12% higher than pre storm. Who knows if that's all locals or others? Well, no, we're going to tow road. So let me burn more fuel uh, when we're stopping to lights, so we try to go on the tow road. His tree service company finds tolls don't cause significant hardship, but did appreciate more than two weeks without. You know, it's always a good idea to give back, you know, to help the. Uh, the little guy in business and plus people, you know, cause the gas high and everything, so anything can help. But there's always the time is money argument. Whatever the fastest route is, yeah. But I think there's a lot of people that are going to be very tool conscious. In Orange County, Dave McDaniel, West 2 News.